Hi guys, welcome to Owen Technology. Today it's time for chapter 5 in our Synology movies. Today I'm going to show you how you can create new users on your Synology NAS and give them access to shared folders. Okay, I've opened my control panel uh, of the Synology NAS, as you can see. First we need to go click here at the main menu and go to control panel. As you can see, you have a lot of options here. You have to go to Share Folder, um, available on your Synology NAS. There are some basic maps that are created by the Synology itself, like the photo map, the video map, the web map, the homes map, and the music map. Um, they are created um, with the apps from Synology itself, um, DS Audio, DS Photo, um, and now we want to create another map for data that is not shared in the home folder so it will be a shared folder for everyone in my case um, you click at create first you need to give uh, a name for the map in my case that's the map you can use the description as a reminder for yourself where the map is used for if you have multiple volumes it's important to select the correct volume um, most of you guys will perhaps have maximum of two volumes one for data and one for backup um, in my case I only have one volume as I and backupping my Synology NAS to another NAS as I've shown you in chapter 4. Um, so I will keep this at uh, volume 1. You have the possibility to hide this share folder in my network places. This is similar to the dollar uh, symbol used in Windows. It will hide the map. You can only see it if you know what the path is. Um, you can also select hide subfolders and files from users without permission. Um, in this case, your users will not see the map if they don't have permissions to look inside the map. I can imagine that there are also enabled the recycle bin. This makes it easier to restore files that are deleted. Uh, there has a, this has a con. Um, if you use the, the if you enable the recycle bin, this will take. A lot more space from your um, Synology NAS so I suggest that you back up your Synology and you can restore your files if you accidentally remove it from the map and um, well actually backups always needed so I cannot imagine why you would do this it's easy yes but um, how many times will it happen I think not so much if you have some well teach uh, users on your NAS. Um, it's also possible to encrypt a shared folder. Uh, in that case you need an encryption key um, to view the folder. Um, as you can see it says file indexing. Uh, in that case you can use the index uh, protocol from the Synology NAS itself. In the most uh, cases I will not use it let's press OK you will see the following screen with all the users that are available on your Synology NAS as you can see I have my local users here um, yeah well I'm using it in a home environment but if you're um, a local domain and then you can use also the domain users um, to give permission to your map in this case I will not show this in this movie I will show it with the local users. It's also possible with local groups as you can see, but I'm not using local groups as I have too few people on my NAS. So let's go back to the local users. You can define everything in your, of your map. You can define whether it has access, yes or no, if it's read only, so they cannot write files or change files in the directory. Um, in my case, I will create read write access for my admin user and myself 
and all the other users will have no access. There are also advanced options and NFS permissions. I'm not using NFS here because it's a home environment. Also the same here. If you're using a domain and you're using it in a business environment, I can imagine that NFS will be nice, but it will be too complicated for most of the people that are watching this video. So if we press OK, the map will be created and all the users that I have given permission to this map can use the map from now. Uh, in my case, this will be the admin user and my Erwin account. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you can share your files now on your Synology NAS. Um, if you have any questions, please put it below. And if you like my movie or dislike my movie, please use the thumbs to give me some feedback on this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye-bye.